live from the heart of New York City, it's the morning show with Mike and Juliet. Uh, there was a time when baking in the sun was considered safe. I remember doing that in my backyard. Uh, lay out and but stuff like baby that. Baby oil everywhere. Oh, God, it's oh. silly. And no one ever worried about wrinkles, age spots, skin cancer. We didn't think about it. Yeah, those days are over. Uh -huh. <laughs> Once you turn 30, you know, anyway. But now there is help to reverse the damaging effects of the sun. We've all heard about these little procedures, but this is a new procedure. It's crazy. It not only removes wrinkles, but it also destroys precancerous cells. It's great. It's called portrait plasma skin resurfacing, and one of our next guests had it done just uh, about two weeks ago. Every summer, it's the same scene. We rush to the shore or to the backyard to soak in the sun. But a reckless regard for rays can wreak havoc on your skin. My skin is blotched and mottled. Um, I also have a number of wrinkles that are coming. Caitlin McNally is an active mother of two and an admitted sun worshiper who is very unhappy with her looks. When I look in the mirror, what do I do? I put my hands up and I pull the skin back an inch or two and go, wow, that looks much better. But she doesn't have just cosmetic concerns. I have had three skin cancers removed, one from my back. I'm missing a piece of my ear and a piece right at the top of my forehead. She decided it was time to revitalize her face. So she turned to Dr. Doris Day, who specializes in a revolutionary new technique called plasma skin resurfacing. The results are fabulous, reliable, and quite dramatic in that it takes off years. And the person who is really an ideal candidate for this is someone who has fine lines or deep lines around the mouth, lots of brown spots, and signs of sun damage. It also has the potential to remove some of Caitlin's precancerous cells. All right, you ready? One, two, three. The process takes about 30 minutes, and because patients can experience slight pain, Dr. Day uses topical anesthetic on Caitlin to numb the skin. Then she uses blasts of plasma energy to peel off damaged skin cells. In a few days, Caitlin's new face will be ready to be revealed. We'll just have to follow her and see those dramatic changes. It's very exciting to see as the skin peels off, to see that new skin behind. So once this part is over, um, she's, she's on her way. Oh, I can't wait. We're going to bring out Caitlin in just a few moments here for the big reveal, okay? But first, to tell us about the procedure, the author of Forget the Facelift, Dr. Doris Day. <laughs> Hi, doctor. <laughs> doctor. Parents were immigrants and they were very patriotic, hence Doris yes, Day. Very that's cute right. story. Um, all right, so th this thing looks like a laser, but it really, it's not really a laser. No, it's plasma nitrogen. That's the source of the energy that creates the heat. And what makes this so revolutionary is that with the laser technology that was available before, all the layers of the skin were removed at the initial treatment. Oh. With the plasma technology, the upper layers are left completely intact. The energy goes deeper, and it takes three to four days before the peeling starts. So your skin is working as its own dressing, and it's the most ideal wound dressing that we can have. So the skin is healing underneath, and it's being protected on top. So your risk of infection and scarring is so much lower, and the healing is faster. Sure. Well, I understand that about four months later is when you really see the effects because it's when the collagen starts exactly plumping or doing That's whatever right. collagen does. So what happens is with any of the technologies, it takes three to four months for the collagen to renew and to regenerate. That's just the time collagen takes. But what makes this so great is that at one week, you could put makeup on and go out. With the old CO2 technology, you really couldn't go out for weeks. I had CO2 would... on my face yep. in November. <laughs> the CO2, it was just blasted, man. Yeah. And it took about 10 days for I could before I, ah, who's that? Yeah. But I had this stuff done on my hands, mm -hmm. and the freckles just in exactly. about a week and a half, they just, the, the freckles fell off. And it takes away the precancerous cells. And it takes away precancerous cells. Now, some of them will be completely gone, some will be yeah. improved, and some that were on the way won't ever come out. Now, my doctor said, don't go into the sun ever again without goo on your face, you know, some SP, SPF. Well, that's true anyway. Yeah. I mean, the idea is that if you use sun protection going forward, your skin will repair to some extent. So what we have to do is know that going forward, now that we've turned your skin back, you want to keep it there. Don't screw it up. Exactly. Right. Thank you. So you worked on Caitlin. Yes. All right, we I, think we need to, I think we need to bring her out. All right, Caitlin, come on. Now, this is two weeks ago. There, two right, there. She, she was looking better ago. at 10 days, but this is two weeks now. Here we go. Come on out, Caitlin. <laughs> now, come oh, on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Caitlin. My dear. Thank you. All right, so you look fantastic. Your skin is really shiny. Now, sometimes I guess it's hard to translate on television, but your skin is very shiny. How, do you, how are you feeling about it? 
I feel fantastic. I had a black tie event this past weekend, 10 days after I had the procedure done, and I looked great. What have you noticed about your skin and the changes in your skin? Um, I have many fewer, well, I had a skin cancer blooming on my cheek, which yeah. seems to be disappearing. I have many sunspots, which have gone away, and uh, I had been putting on makeup, which was actually making me worse, look worse, because of my texture of my skin, and now when I put on makeup, it actually makes me look better. It looks fantastic. You really do look now, good. Do, do, you, do, you, do you have to wear goggles? or How close to her eyes do, could you get? I can go right up to the upper and lower eyelids because this is not a Kate laser, so it doesn't here. affect the eyes. So when you do the upper and lower eyelids, you can go right to the edge of the lower. So I can go right along the upper eyelid and right along the lower eyelid to give tightening and rejuvenation to that whole area. All right. And you can feather it down along the neck as well. Here's, here's the big question. Um, you know, we saw the zapping in the purple light. Did it hurt? Um, be honest. It, it hurt a little bit, but my overall impression was that it was so fast that I couldn't believe it. It seemed over in a snap. There are some other, um, we have some other before and afters that we would just want to show you because, again, it's difficult when you're sitting here in the studio to have it translate. Doctor, what are we looking the at there? So you're looking at before you see lots of fine lines and wrinkles, sure. and then on the right side, you see two different things. One is the skin texture itself is improved, and also the resilience and the elasticity of the skin yeah, is better. Yeah, that's definitely true. And the next one, too, you wow, look on the upper look lip. That. This is one of my most favorite wow. areas to treat is around the mouth. Whether or not you are a smoker, women get sure. fine lines above the lip, men too, above the lip and around the mouth, and this erases it. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, all right, so, it, and, and how long before you were able to, uh, literally, to go outside? Without and, scaring people. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I went outside and scared people anyway because <laughs> I have two small children and yeah, birthday parties to do and all that, but uh, I would say within a week, I look darn normal. Did we say how much it, w it is? Across the country, it's about starts at about twenty eight hundred dollars, depending on where you're treating and for how the much whole you're face? having done for the whole face. Do okay, you pay so payments, <laughs> payment plan. No. Yeah, but it's a one time thing, and it takes years off. So how many? How long before she might have to do it again then? Years. Years, yeah, four or five years. Yeah, depending on what she does. This sounds and really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love it. <laughs> and it's about following the plan. It's the, the premise of my book. It's the four steps. It's what you do from the outside, what you do from the inside, managing your stressors, and the treatment. Just real quickly here, because uh, my dermatologist says you get these precancerous cells on your hand and your face. Mm -hmm. If you don't do something about that, it does, doesn't have to turn to cancer, does it? Well, over time, eventually it will. It's a matter of how much time. It could be 10 years, 5 years, 3 months, yeah, or 20 exactly years. You said. just don't know. Caitlin, you look fantastic. Good job. Thank you. Good Good job, Doctor. Yeah. For more information on portrait plasma skin resurfacing, you can log on to our website, imagejshow.com. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of hits on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you.